So welcome back to Why in the Morning and this is Youth and Politics. I go by the name of Bai Moses or it's Bai on every social media platform. And today I'm joined by a very able Mr. Alex. But before Alex talks to you, a white fair for channel on Twitter, white fair for underscore channel on Instagram, and white fair for on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Hashtag is Why in the Morning, hashtag is Youth and Politics, and let's get involved in governance. So uh, right to you, Alex. Oh, many thanks, of course, for keeping it white 254. We get to bring you youth and politics. And of course, Barry. <coughs> Desert Uru. Uh, yes, that is our first topic of conversation. Uh, the president was in uh, in Tanzania. Yes. Uh, but before we talk about that, I'd like to introduce uh, the president of Bungela Wananchi himself, uh, Karibu Sana. Asante. And uh, Kilimani MC Aspirant 2022. Uh, so you can introduce yourselves, maybe Tanzania. Uh, your camera is number four. Thank you for uh -huh. inviting me today mm -hmm. to this station. Mm -hmm. My name is Enrushi Tanda, I'm the president of Bungela Wananji, mm -hmm. and uh, I am humbled to be with you here. All right. Thank you. Karibu sana, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, uh -huh. Kumajina and Elvis Opeta Siachi. I just told them. Kumajina and Elvis Opeta Siachi. I'm a friend of the Kufika School of Hapa Evi. I'm a MC of the Radio Kilimani Ward. I'm a friend of the Kukoi because this is a Vijana. I'm a friend of the Kukoi Show. I'm a friend of Siasa mm -hmm. na ata ujengaji wa enchi. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, na ni sisi tunafanya the most work. Na ni sisi tunafanya the most work na tuna zile <laughs> kazi mbaya mbaya za wanasiasa. <laughs> Mwanguwa raundi ya kazi mbaya zile kazi mbaya mbaya za wanasiasa. <laughs> Tuna <laughs> pia sasa awa zee watufanyi pia sisi kazi zile zile tunafanya mbaya mbaya. It's our turn to eat. It's our turn. Kweka vitu straight. Kutandaza vitu. So, Alex, there's this topic of conversation. Yes, yes. There's this issue. Actually, it's a developing story about, you know, the fake letter. The DP's fake letter. And actually, the story is quite, is really emerging as a big deal right now. Because we have the, Nini, Dennis Itumbi, one of the communication head, the actually digital communication head. He was, not the other day, actually, he was arrested. And he said, I cannot write in his statement uh -huh. of no comment, actually, like no comment. <laughs> uh -huh. until you know my lawyer gets here uh -huh. and mm -hmm. i'm like yeah by the way you're getting to some place you know all right and it's uh, it's very suspicious when somebody says no comment uh, i have the right to remain silent i have the right to get an attorney yeah. and somebody looks very suspicious as much as it is your right to remain silent it looks very suspicious so what do you guys um uh, yeah yeah fake letter quote trace back to the uh, DP's office. okay mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. you know everybody has a right mm -hmm. uh chapter four of our constitution that is bill of right mm -hmm. And uh, the issue of this uh, malicious letter, mm -hmm. you know, it is the work of an investigative agency mm -hmm. to know actually where did this letter came from. Mm -hmm. And they are doing their job. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to me, I think that letter wanted to paint the government bad image, mm -hmm. uh, whereby we will go back to the issues of 2007, whereby mm -hmm. it started by clashes. Mm -hmm. Because once you say that you want to kill the deputy president, the, the second person in command, uh -huh. what do you think from Kalenji's community, uh -huh. from his supporters, what will uh -huh. happen? I think uh, Kenyans, we need to focus things that will help the country, mm -hmm. but not politics of 2022. Not because, politics yeah, of 2022. Not, this ties down to politics, politics of 2022. Politics. Sorry? This, you think this ties down to politics of 2020? Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Before we talk about that, I'd like to know uh, your view on this. Uh, Unafikirianini uh, jua historia deputy president. The letter has been traced back to his office. We are not saying he's involved, <laughs> uh, but it has been traced back to his office. Yeah. Uh, according to me, no, na ni kama ni politics of 2022. Mm -hmm. Na iyo iyo letter iki andi kuwa eh, maybe the author. Mm -hmm. eh, Alikuwa na ile ni ya aki andi aki ikisema kuna iyo assassination kuna watu na pamoja iyo assassination. Mm -hmm. Itakuwa na ile, si, ile, ita, 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 ile sympathy, mm -hmm. sympathy votes. Mm -hmm. Lakini, bile mino wana ni kama sasa ina backlash. Mm -hmm. Because, eh, baro ina nikuwa, atujui imetoka wapi. Mm -hmm. Na, eh, baada upelelezi tunapata imetoka kwa itumbi. Mm -hmm. Na, being, ye kuwa close mm -hmm. na the deputy president, mm -hmm. kwa ni, kama associates. Mm -hmm. So, it may backfire. Mm -hmm. like, akuna it, has, it has backfired on that. Yeah, yeah. And in politics, mm -hmm. in politics, <coughs> any publicity uh -huh. is 
<laughs> is perfect for you. Yes. Uh -huh. And for you to remain relevant, uh -huh. you have to make sure that you are keeping busy your supporters. Uh -huh. you Even if it means scene. Yeah. Uh, addressing <laughs> issues of al alcoholism yeah. while drunk. Y no, sometimes <laughs> also it is about morals. Uh -huh. I'm not happy to vote member of parliament for Molo did mm -hmm. because uh, as a leader, a young mm -hmm. man like me, you have mm -hmm. to show the leadership. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do we have to focus on? All right. Yes, there's something actually the, the latest developing thing is that uh, the letter actually has been uh, alleged that uh, it was uploaded on social media in current. So it's not about G. Ruto and all that. Mm -hmm. What do you think the fact that could it be like someone mm -hmm. uploaded it just for the sake of, you know, sympathy votes? Uh, sometime, sometimes uh, if you're a politician, you can use any game. Mm -hmm. For example, the person who did that letter, mm -hmm. you can decide and post that letter from the office of the deputy president, Karen, mm -hmm. or you can decide and hang around the state house, mm -hmm. then post the letter. Mm -hmm. The investigative agents, they realize this letter posted from where? Right. Karen or state house. Right. So that is also a political game. All right. Yeah. Uh, we need to move on to other topics, but before we move on, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to know, what do you think is uh, the future? of this office of the deputy president what are the options that the president has uh, as at now uh, considering the letter has been traced back to the dp's office uh, if you were the president what are some of the possible outcomes this could have had okay if uh -huh. i was the president uh -huh. just hold the mic steady because me and angalia iyo barua kama wewe ni kiongozi kuna wale watu wanataka wazuri unaona so kuna possibility the deputy president ajui hiyo barua iko uh -huh. lakini kuna wale aides uh -huh. wana wana jaribu kuona like eh uh, ile ku market eh uh -huh. waje tupange msaa ndike barua uh -huh. in the public because when the yes. deputy president is on top yes. au pia wako uh -huh. mahali uh -huh. yes, yeah. uh -huh. na pia kila mtu anataka kuonesha vile anafanya kazi uh -huh. because mimi kama kiongozi mimi atafuta MCA mimi uh -huh. hivi na angalia jamaa na wambie wewe sio ni kifanya kazi yako vizuri nataka hiyo uh -huh. line ingare uh -huh. uh -huh. So, kama deputy president, uh -huh. eh, ni communication direct, eh, uh -huh. communication yake. Uh -huh. So, kila mtu kwa ofisi, ata uh -huh. kuprove, uh -huh. neza fanya kazi. Uh -huh. So, kuna possibility, ata deputy president na jio barua. There's a possibility. Yes. Possibility in caps. Exactly. All right. So, what is the future? What is the, what, what are some of the, <coughs> the, the possibilities that can come out of this? Uh, Nini neza fanya uh, deputy president and the office? One, it, for the deputy president, uh -huh. one, he can get sympathy from people. Mm -hmm. Two, it will look like uh, some people in government, they're fighting him mm -hmm. for his political future, mm -hmm. not to become the president in 2022. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, right now the investigation is still going on. Mm -hmm. We don't know who is the author of the letter. Mm -hmm. We don't know where that letter came from. We, the source. we are just speculating. Speculating. Yeah. So that is why the president himself called the DCI mm -hmm. to investigate. Mm -hmm. And the only person who can come up with the truth is the DCI, mm -hmm. who has powers and mandate to investigate. Mm -hmm. And that is what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably, what, 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 presumably, what do you think might end up leading to, do you think that, uh, the fact that Ruto is the, de uh, <coughs> the Ruto yes. is the deputy president, yes. you know, yeah. do you think that he can escape if by chance he's called guilty of this? Uh, what we need to know that right now in Kenya we are in political mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a team called Kieleweke. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We have Tanga Tanga. Mm -hmm. We have Wanjiku. Mm -hmm. And the other more teams. Mm -hmm. So, for the future of the deputy president, if he wants to be the president of public of Kenya, mm -hmm. one, he must avoid earlier campaign. Mm -hmm. Two, he must respect the presidency. Mm -hmm. Three, they have to abandon that, that Tanga Tanga team mm -hmm. and work with the president. Uh -huh. Because right now, you can see in government, it is like we have two government right now. Uh -huh. We have people aligned to the deputy president, mm -hmm. and we have another team, Kieleweke and Wanjiku, aligned to the president. Uh -huh. So, if the president Uru Kenyatta want to leave the legacy in this country, mm -hmm. him, the campaign as a, a joint ticket. Mm -hmm. And for us, or as a country, to move forward, mm -hmm. these two leaders, they must work together mm -hmm. and show us good leadership all right yeah mm -hmm. there's something you just mentioned yeah? yeah and probably from that let me ask there was an alleged meeting yeah, that uh with the uh, mount kenya region leaders mm -hmm. and uh deputy ruto mm -hmm. uh the president actually abruptly went to the meeting mm -hmm. so what do you think like could emerge in all this because it seems mm -hmm. like you have said that there seems to be a standoff between team kieleweke and tanga tanga uh you know sometimes you cannot know how the government is working yes. <laughs> And there's nothing bad mm -hmm. for people in Kenya to go and to do their own meeting. Mm -hmm. It is the same 
if I go to Western and do meeting with my uh -huh. fellow people from You're Western, probably addressing the I'm issues that are affecting... The issues that are address, uh, affecting my people. Mm -hmm. So I can't see anything wrong for people of Mount Kenya to meet mm -hmm. or the president to, to, to attend lap. that meeting mm -hmm. because he comes from the same region. Mm -hmm. And anything that is happening in Central, mm -hmm. it affects him as a leader. Mm -hmm. And you know the president is the kingpin of Central mm -hmm. region. Mm -hmm. So right. I can't see anything wrong there. All right, I think we'll summarize this with the with the with the with the famous saying: mm. "Let the investigations <laughs> be guided, <laughs> and let's wait for the yeah. for the results of the investigations." Yes, our president was in Tanzania, yeah. definitely, mm -hmm. and uh, actually he was there for two days. And uh, you know, he, he was addressing the issue that uh, Honorable Jago had mm -hmm. about the foreigners, mm -hmm. yeah. and probably just to ask, you want to be a leader in the next probably few years from now, twenty twenty two general elections. Yes. Uh, what do you feel about uh, the issue of actually there's this issue that has just come up with the Makema issue? Uh, the question Gikomba. is yes, Gikomba actually. Mm. What do you think uh, you do as a leader if one's elected for that about the issue of the foreigners? Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, international politics. Ni madugu zetu kuna waitaji. Mm -hmm. Lakini tukua na system. Because mimi kama boy wa mta. Saizi ni kenda Tanzania. Friends in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Ndiyo ingi huko fanya kazi masumbuliwa sana. Mm -hmm. Na authority huko. Mm -hmm. Lakini kwa nini yao inakuwa raisi sana kukunja kufanya biashara Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. So serikali Kenyan government na Tanzania, na Tanzania government. Wanafuwa kai chini. Alright. I'd like to quote Jaguar. Eh? Mm -hmm. Tutawa piga. Tutawa fukuza. Na tuwa peleke ya pot. Apana, hiyo ilikuwa, ilikuwa misquoted. <laughs> uh, Alright, yes. okay. bring us, bring wow. us, bring us on board on what exactly you think that is. Uh, what I think is, eh, sisi kama wa Kenya tunafaa kwa first priority, si tufanye kazi pale. Mm -hmm. So, ama jama wa kutoka tango wa kikuja, sisi ndo tunawa control. Like, mnizafanya hivi, mnizafanya, hapa, hapa tuendagi hivi. Okay. You seem to have a different opinion. <laughs> yeah, I have a different opinion. Uh -huh. You know, the person who created us, all of us, uh -huh. he created us by one image. Uh -huh. And uh, I think what Jaguar said, uh -huh. as a leader, uh -huh. it is uh, unacceptable. Mm -hmm. One, uh, you can go and do or work in Tanzania because you are East Africa community. Uh -huh. And the President Uru Kenyatta is trying to make sure that uh, he leave a legacy, mm -hmm. not only in Kenya, but in East Africa, mm -hmm. whereby you can go and do your job in Uganda, Rwanda, have, even in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Dar es Salaam, mm -hmm. there is a place called Nyamachoma. This mm -hmm. place is run by a Kikuyu mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the biggest uh, hotel. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the people or our neighbors from Tanzania, they, are employ they have employed people in Gikomba, uh, here in Mudurwa, mm -hmm. for them to get a living. Mm -hmm. But you as a leader to come out and say that to tawa piga, mm -hmm. to tawa fukuza, mm -hmm. that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Yes. That and is for us to move forward, we need that free enterprise. We need, we need a bigger market mm -hmm. as Kenyans. Yes. We need to be able to sell to Tanzania. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. that's, that's one of the aim of the ESC Commission, mm -hmm. the East African Community. That's their one of the main aim. You know, we can trade easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, the place from South Sudan, he was in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And there were bilateral agreements. Yes. And actually they were given land in land. Kenya. Uh -huh. To build, and Kenyans are going to work on that. Land. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like, but uh, kuna kuna issue moja ba amolewi. Uh huh. Um, Kenyans in Tanzania, Kenyans in even in Juba, uh -huh. they are being harassed there with the authorities, but nobody is talking about. Even other than the Kenyans in. You saw the mic stadium. Yeah, I was watching Kenyans in Emirates. Mm -hmm. Wana 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 test mm -hmm. But ah, we could the Kenya pay the. Wana pata kuna soft landing. Mm -hmm. Authorities are relax. Mm -hmm. So, tunataka ipo 50-50. So you think an eye for an eye is the way? Yes. No, the issue is here that uh, Kenya, through our constitution, mm -hmm. 2010 constitution, mm -hmm. everybody has a right to work anywhere. Mm -hmm. That is why we have East Africa parliam Parliament. Mm -hmm. The, and this East Africa Kenya is Parliament, represented. Na Kenya mm -hmm. is represented, mm -hmm. Tanzania is represented, Uganda, Rwanda. So, uh, and f for us also, we need uh, foreign exchange mm -hmm. in this country. We need our people to get jobs. Yes. For example, uh, Uganda, mm -hmm. it is a land landlocked country. Yes. And for them, even to get this vehicle to their country, mm -hmm. they must pass through Mombasa. Mm -hmm. So all we need these people mm -hmm. for us, also for the government to run, mm -hmm. to get revenue from Uganda, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. yes. But and we Kenya are is a superpower country uh -huh. in East uh -huh. Africa. Uh -huh. And also, 
what Tanzania they are doing. G8 of Africa. Yes. Yeah, we are the what, G8 of Africa. Yeah. <laughs> to, what what Uganda the, what what the country the Uganda country they are doing mm -hmm. and Kenya is pure difference mm -hmm. because we are like first class country. Uh -huh. Uganda is a second class country. Mm -hmm. So we don't we need should to lead start by example with them. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah we should lead by example. Uh -huh. How do you feel, eh? Uh -huh. You are in a Ken you are you are you're a, you're a Kenyan uh -huh. then uh, a foreigner comes here mm -hmm. and bulls you in your own country. All right, that, those ones we can check. We mm -hmm. have the law to, to we limit. Can, we have the law, but uh -huh. do that, uh, we have some loopholes. Uh -huh. How do you want to make up? Because maybe Lazimo or Titan. Lazimo or Titan. Because uh -huh. me, who are feel poor, they go to the boys, eh? Uh -huh. Like, who Police and the Kunyara as a limit in a door. I think I have my own my friends from Nigeria because they are giving something, eh? Kunapata, our water, 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 free, I mean, a person. So, like, you like to mean, you like to say money, you know, Sharia, like, you know, Sharia, yeah, when you foreigner, one of particular Safana Kazi, because you're gonna have so many foreigners. Let's regulate, that's what you're saying. But we unanimously agree to Tawapiga is the wrong state. You know, the, another thing, the, the issue of corruption in this country, uh -huh. if you're a foreigner, eh, you want to, uh, to apply for the company, it will take you like two days uh -huh. because you have, we have what? Cash. Mm -hmm. Cash. Mm -hmm. In Rwanda, uh -huh. if you don't have money and they know this person can bring something to this country, Business, yeah. they will help you for mm -hmm. free. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, so those are some of the issues we need to address. Yes. We'll be talking about them, uh, but now we have to move on swiftly uh, to uh, there's this topic of conversation about MPs pushing uh, for cabinet uh, members to be appointed from uh, from MPs. Mm. Yes, yes. All right. So uh, <laughs> they want to amend the constitution that says uh, cabinet uh, members shall not be. MPs or, sh or should not be MPs. So they want to amend this part of the constitution so that uh, the the cabinet can be selected from the members of parliament. Mm -hmm. And the reason they're saying this is that uh, they can question mm -hmm. these members of parliament in parliament mm -hmm. in matters affecting their constituents. Uh, how, what do you guys think about this? Uh, according to me, I'm going to say that I'm going to the, uh, the president of our political cabinet. Here in our baggage, we the MP. Like, we are corrupt. We are not going to continue with our Mongolia. So, I am being asked to not pull out any of the Nyumbani because it is not going to be possible. Like, you know, we are technocrats. We are going to be able to suit the people. We are going to be able to <laughs> right. So you, what you're trying to say, the cabinet members are not held accountable as we speak. Yes. <laughs> the constitution does not provide, does not have provisions to hold them accountable. It has, uh -huh. but there are some loopholes. Because yeah, I do like maybe I'm corrupt at the court. Your case is a chukwa mega tano kumi ita kwa melusi lada. Lakini kama yeni mbunge nyumbani, akuta mimi mko sisi na mbele. We kula tu na kungoja home. No na. Kuna pressure. You, you know, seem to have a we, we, <laughs> we have greedy members of parliament mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot create two jobs for one person <laughs> i think we lack job opportunities mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. and another thing uh 2010 constitution that mm -hmm. is a i think it's chapter 12 that is executive that has mm -hmm. powers mm -hmm. to appoint the cabinet secretaries and also it says that uh, the cabinet secretary must be is not a, a person who is not politician mm -hmm. if you give a politician opportunity is a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. Another thing is a minister for mm -hmm. roads. What do you expect? <laughs> He'll do that development to, development to his own uh -huh. uh, constituency. Uh -huh. But if you give opportunity uh -huh. to outside person, qualified. The, the qualified person, uh -huh. the qualified man of integrity, is the, the, the man of integrity, uh -huh. because you know the president has powers uh -huh. to fire the cabinet secretary, uh -huh. whether you're corrupt, he has that, those powers. Uh -huh. But if you are a member of parliament, the president doesn't have powers to fire you. Uh -huh. So. I think that uh, debate is unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable. Yes. It's moving uh, backwards. Yes, yes. yes. Uh. Probably out of ten, uh -huh. how, how can you arrange the current cabinet secretary? Uh, I think uh, the current cabinet secretary that we have, on, we have only three most powerful cabinet secretary. Uh -huh. We have uh, Matiang, yes. uh -huh. who is in charge of uh, security. Uh -huh. We have Minister for Finance, uh -huh. a man of Eurobonds. Uh -huh. uh, then we have another minister for the... ICT. Yes, yes. Jim, those are two, three powerful ministers. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think uh, the m what I can give them. Yes, out of ten. Out of ten, maybe I can give them six percent. Six, six percent. Six what percent. about you? Uh, me, me, ule, cabinet, no, 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 no
matiani uh-huh. alafu na usi yes mama kule juice magoha because pia yes. una <laughs> chini kwa mm. wananchi mm. because me my father ni ni master muuliza unaonaje huyu usi yes anakwambia eh huyu ni mabomba mabomba eh hey, unaona sasa so <laughs> pia mimi na jua nafanya kazi because kulikuwa na ile socioni kuna wakati kwa sababu mambo ya CBA mm-hmm. haitafanyika lakini mm-hmm. sasa hivi wametulia mm-hmm. kuna jamaa uko jua na goho ni so do you think if uh, cabinet secretaries were being appointed from parliament magoa could have gotten a chance yes but right. he no, is no, not no. a politician he's not a politician sasa hapo ndo kuna kwa shida because tumekuwa na ama technocrats magoa is one of technocrats when you are perform tumekuwa na technocrats wenye unapata Yes, ako na CV yake ni mzuri mm-hmm. lakini ukimpatia kazi hatuoni. Mm-hmm. Eh, na sitaki kutaja majina lakini ni mtu. Lakini lakini ni mtu sikumwangalia bila kumekuwa. So your anti technocrats for sure. I really got you. Something also about the MP and uh, the, the the guys that are coming up with the amendment they're saying we also want to reduce the wage bill mm-hmm. which is quite an issue right now we're talking about the referendum with the, the that we alliance party talking about the referendum. Let me ask. Mm-hmm. Do you think we are ready for a referendum as a country? Uh, you know, we need to know what are the questions for yeah. referendum. Mm-hmm. There is no questions. Mm-hmm. Eh? We need to see. We can't address. We, yes. Uh, so no. we are not sure of this referendum. We need to yes. see what are the questions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If the question is to say that uh, let us now reduce the position of uh, MCAs, mm-hmm. let us remove MCAs, let us remove the members of parliament, mm-hmm. then for, uh, let, let me just be specific. Eh? Mm-hmm. Let's let's first of all deal with the current issue that we have. Mm-hmm. They say there should not be less than 14 cabinet secretaries mm-hmm. and not more than 22. Mm-hmm. All right, in mm-hmm. seek to reduce the wage bill. Yes. So, do you think uh, less than f- uh, not less than 14 and not more than 22 will do? Remember the same same members of parliament. They have already increased themselves with the 250,000 for the house allowance. Yes. So it will be very unfair <laughs> for them to come and tell us now what we do let us reduce the wage bill mm-hmm. because of other people. Mm-hmm. Eh? So for me the issue of referendum the country right now we are we are not ready for referendum. Mm-hmm. And uh, another thing it is only 2 years we are going for another election. Mm-hmm. And uh, we don't have money as a country. Mm-hmm. Even Facts. up to now mm-hmm. we have civil servant whom they have not received their salaries. Mm-hmm. We have pro- this is pending, mm. pending projects. You are sure people, this is factual? Yes. We civil have servants people, who have not been paid. We have people. Hmm? The civil uh, servants who have not been paid. Just a minute. Right. We have people uh-huh. in government who have taken that system. It is like they own it. Uh-huh. And they think they can keep we as citizens uh-huh. busy mm-hmm. singing their, uh, their song. Mm-hmm. That is why every time when the countries in a in a good mood mm-hmm. they will come up with another uh, Top shaking mm-hmm. mood whereby they keep you busy with let us go for referendum mm-hmm. referendum 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 in because Asia. they don't have job <laughs> in Asia <laughs> then they'll come up with another tune in security <laughs> in Asia because that is how they and there we are tuned to that mm-hmm. yes all right. all right so you think this referendum is just an antique we don't need it yes and also as a leader, you must make sure that you keep everybody uncomfortable. <laughs> but continue ruling. But you Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to a leader here. Yeah. All right. Kivyangu, the referendum apana kwa saizi. Because ata mimi referendum kitwa leo hii, nikiti MCA wanza abolish. Na indi ure. Pia mina tafta unga. So, Kivyangu, the constitution kwa sawa, lakini kuna zile... Kama tutambiwa, kama, tuta, kama tutambiwa ni hizi ndo uh-huh. tunatoa, uh-huh. tujipange mapema, tukia uh-huh. ni vitu gani, tunenda kupitisha uh-huh. katiba ama kuangusha katiba. Oh, yeah. Lakini uta tuamusha tu siku moja tuambie, <laughs> uh-huh. tunenda katiba kesho, mm. na lazima eh, yende hivi ya manamna hii ya manamna hii ya taki hiyo. Alright, eh, moving on swiftly, we have some issues to address. Uh, saba saba. Uh, Saba Saba ilipita Jan. ni Jan, yes. uh, tar- uh, the seventh of the seventh month. Mm. And this used to mean uh, so much to this country back then. Mm. And it was spearheaded by the youths. And this is Youth Station. We'd like to talk to the youths. Yeah. And it's, uh, it has lost uh, a lot of its significance. Uh, do you think the youths are getting comfortable or they've moved their protest to, uh, uh, to other places? <laughs> <laughs> you know, as youths, mm-hmm. uh, we have come from far, and this mm-hmm. country has come from far mm-hmm. since 1990 during my party democracy. Mm-hmm. That is where even Bungela Onanji started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was very painful mm-hmm. that day of Saba Saba. Mm-hmm. People were killed, mm-hmm. others were tortured. Mm-hmm. And uh, as a country, mm-hmm. we can see 
the way you are right now, mm -hmm. you cannot compare in 1990. Right mm -hmm. now we have a, a new constitution, mm -hmm. uh, people are more uh, intelligent. Mm -hmm. We and can talk, youth right we now, can express ourselves. We can express ourselves. Mm -hmm. And also youth uh, in leadership. Mm -hmm. We have seen our members of youth, uh, youth being appointed in some of the cabinet secretary mm -hmm. and the others in parastatos. Mm -hmm. But we need to focus. We mm -hmm. need to start fighting for our own. Mm -hmm. There's no need people to start telling us that uh, youth are leaders of tomorrow. What mm -hmm. about today? Mm -hmm. Who is a youth today now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to start focusing mm -hmm. to things and leadership. Mm -hmm. And you don't expect to be given. Mm -hmm. Fight for that position. Fight for the position. Yes. So, uh, all right. Probably just to ask you, mm -hmm. when you're upcoming leaders, no. Mm -hmm. Do you think as leaders, as, as young people, we are, we are being given the platform to speak out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have my own presidential candidate. Na, I mean, the platform ya kujijenga. Mm -hmm. See, to na roots part of Kenya. Uh, presidential candidate, Professor George Wajakoya. Okay. Yes. Na, so my yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Now I mean, if you are privileged, mm -hmm. then if you are stage, mm -hmm. like showcase what you can. Mm -hmm. So I think since you come a youth, to go na na mali to naenda. So ni si sone we tu to just come. Na pia kivyango na na my youth, kuna so many ignorance. Nani ukomta? Nza kai biju na na nye ati Kenya to kosa wani nani? Laki ni uke namta kabisa na na jua. So, Total is Aliwa. Mm -hmm. eh, mama kena njai, baba kena njai. Uo mtu yiku pata birth certificate mkwa shida. Unasikia class 1 sa hii mtu ya ingi. Lazima kwanza requirement birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Uo um, mtu ya kisha fikia 7 years, 8, 9, 10 years. Hata enda shule, mm -hmm. hata kwa chokora. Yes. So, hiyo hiyo shuguli ya birth certificate nilikuwa mm -hmm. na, 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 na omba serikali. Mm -hmm. Mtu ya kisali wako sipitali. Hiyo tu sahili ya mezaliwa yeze kuandikwa. Because napata mtu ya mezaliwa mama kena. Mm -hmm. Maybe kana ni mimi nilipeana ni... So una pata saizi serious saizi class 1 yes mzaza anaambiwa mtoto akuja hapa certificate na una pata certificate ndio ingeje shule anaambiwa akiingia kwa shule wewe hujo tu ya kwa shule lakini at serikali mtambui lakini buda a change hata even if buda aende bado a change ni yule yule ah what do you mean by buda aende ku change ni yule yule unajua hata akienda the fact that the mother is divorced doesn't mean that the father has changed yeah, he hasn't changed. Yes. The command na sema, mm -hmm. like, is kuwet in lazima baba lete particulars. Okay. Si baba ni amtoto ni uyu. Mm. Pali kwa sipitali, jaza. Kandike kitu. Yeah, kwa wabat certificate. Ukienda, wa unayana, ata kama mtako sana kutakuu haze. Mm. Yeah, yende, mtoto, mtoto asi safa. Because, safa. Mm. because I, as I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. kuna ma youth wengi sana wako seven years, six years. Mm. Unaza, mbona mtuwe jenda jule, ati hakuna bat certificates. Yes, that's all. Hakuna free plan. These education. are things that are going on in Tani. Uh, yes. All right, let yes. me yes. just get a view. I have a, a difference of opinion with my colleague. Ya kwamba watu kenyo wa jason. I'm telling you, watu wa meson. Mm -hmm. The statistic, every bi uh, in university graduation, mm -hmm. We have like 14 million graduates in Kenya. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the people who have employed like 3 million people. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, ile kitu tukonayo, ni ili arrogance, ama ignorance, mm -hmm. kama vijana. Mm -hmm. Kuenda kwa kisha ya kwamba, kama ini shamba inalimu, wacha mm -hmm. pe mine ili kafanya nini, ni kalime yu shamba. Mm -hmm. The problem again we have with the government, mm -hmm. Wherever they advertise any job opportunity, they will tell you 10 years experience, 5 years <laughs> experience, you, do, you don't have that experience. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do as youths, mm -hmm. we need to lobby the government tell us, uh, and to tell them we don't, have, we don't need the issues of experience. Mm -hmm. Employers, right. there's someone who is who has experience there. Mm -hmm. He will show us. Right. Will for, but for lobbying <coughs> to occur, there has to be a leader. Somebody needs to lead the group mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. lobbying process. Who's going to lead us? And uh, most of the youths we are electing are getting into the system, are getting sucked up into the system. Uh, according to me, at where's the beg for government? Mm -hmm. uh, why should we go to beg? <laughs> you saw them. Why should <laughs> Why should we go and lobby? Kwanjiko kazi. Saizi mta pale. 
unaweza fanya hii inajiita urban mining unasikia mm-hmm. urban mining au hitaji degree ama mm-hmm. sijui pa masters mm-hmm. kwa kwa plastic mm-hmm. unaona mtaa oh urban mm-hmm. mining wow urban mining unaweza kwa plastics tunaweza pata gold hizi mabishipi ze huwa tunatupatia mtaa uko na malika ghetto kibira madare kuna so many plastics hizo plastic tunaweza zikuwa na tunafanya recycling hiyo recycling eh ni pale tu juu tunataka technocrats lakini hapa chini process nyingine hiyo hata hii ni vijana wa mtaa because like kama boy anajua hata uko ta plastic gunia mzima apate 200 ataenda wizi unaona na environment pia inakuwa safi na environment hii pesa tunasikia sijui Nairobi county sijui wametoa 400 million ya kupanda sijui eh nyasi ni na nini hiyo hiyo ni pesa like ukieka kwa urban urban mining hiyo pesa 400 million mimi nakwambia we change hii city tuna change in less than 3 months clean actually we need we need to change our minds we don't need to be focused Uh, youth tuonekane kama si watu wa kutumika kuokota makarakasi <laughs> manini mm. we need to fight, to fight with these people mm-hmm. so that hata wewe kama uko na bodyguard na driver pia wewe na bodyguard na driver <laughs> unaelewa yeah. so let us focus our mind up there not mm-hmm. down here mm-hmm. because watakuwa wanasema no let us do this tu, wamekaa chini wamepitisha bajeti mm-hmm. wanasema maybe this uh, 200 million mm-hmm. wacha tuweke kwa vijana empowering the mm-hmm. youth mm-hmm. that empowering the youth this man they use that again this money to start Uh, causing division mm-hmm. among the youth mm-hmm. so let us focus mm-hmm. and fight with them if it is the leadership if you are vying for the mca bro yes. i want to advise you this yes. what you do focus to work with good network another thing create your mind for that seat and be ready to compete with others mm-hmm. and be ready to so defeat to them mm-hmm. that is what is called leadership uh-huh. yes be ready to take the, uh, yes. to take leadership actually, all right all right all right i think we need to appreciate what actually he, he mentioned yeah. something that is really really, really crucial mm-hmm. i went to dondora i think a month ago dam dam saita and i met actually very young people manze wana chukua nini wana chukua bones zile zimetumika manze and that guy i think we i'll come with that next time yeah? mm-hmm. they're making some cool stuff some spoons nini mm-hmm. out of those bones mm-hmm. and him said to make a process man say mm-hmm. yeah, i saw it and i was like wow this is so amazing mm-hmm. so i think we also need to appreciate what young people are doing let's yeah, not just true, be like yeah. by their funny kitu kuongezea ana mipata wote wale tumepata tumepata ni aje eh see at une kama youth kwa kwa makaratasi the message is eh tunazijitegemea 5 years work experience kuja na hii kuja na hii hakuna hiyo time hiyo create opportunities for yeah, yourself you to make create yeah. opportunity for our own self eh? uh-huh. na hakuna supervision wewe una mkasubui na jua nafaa tu nichukue shughuli zangu ndio mm-hmm. yani hiyo urban mining hiyo ni moja kuna mm-hmm. hata hii inajiita strawberry planting no? uh-huh huko mtaa huko ghetto uh-huh. tukipata hizo ma seedlings za kupanda strawberry eh? uh-huh. unapata ukienda supermarket strawberry packet moja ni 200 uh-huh. na huko mtaa tunaweza fanya strawberry tutengeneza jambo ni ambie mali kama kibira uh-huh. ume kuna possibility tunaweza panda strawberry kwa hizo mauta zitakoka pale yes, mtaa yes. mm. then tunawapea pesa kidogo hiyo <coughs> pesa kidogo ya mama amepata ule ule mzazi amepata pale nyumbani mm. hata ikawa vizuri ile siku tunakuja kwa harvest mm-hmm. iko na maboys huko mtaa tunakuja kwa harvest yeah. yote tukisha ya harvest unapata kwa hizi ma hizi ma supermarket supermarket kubwa kubwa tuko na order tunapelekea so, so unapata your message is tunaweza mm-hmm. tengeneza factory ya jam uh, mm-hmm. imagine factory ya jam uko na 300,000 clans kibira na jam moja unaweza 30 shillings yani pesa ngapi It's a lot of money. Your you. message is create opportunities for opportunity. ourselves. Yes. All right, as we wrap this up uh, to a party chance for Piani last remarks. Uh, come uh, MCA uh, contestant for 2022. Uh, your last remarks to the people of Kilimanjaro. Uh, Mimi and the country last, at large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At country at large. Mm-hmm. Politics 2022. Uh, Tutulie kidogo. Fanye kazi kwanza. Uh-huh. Uh, watu wa Kilimanjaro pale base ya center uh-huh. mimi nawakilisha hapa. MCA Kilimani 2022 mm-hmm. na wase wangu wa Kibira tuko pamoja tuko pamoja your last remarks as uh, we wrap this up uh, my last remarks okay mm-hmm. <coughs> you know we as Kenyans mm-hmm. we need to be people of morals mm-hmm. uh, let us respect each other mm-hmm. another thing let us 
the issues of campaign of 2022 let us avoid mm -hmm. the issue for referendum let us avoid mm -hmm. let us focus on how we can empower our people mm -hmm. yes first first and then 2022 all right what about you alex as we wrap this up well for me i think uh, uh it's time we think i think our leaders they need uh, to know that the fact the word leader begins uh -huh. with lead uh -huh. show us what you're leading uh -huh. where are you taking us uh -huh. and us will follow uh -huh. so we mark it all and we say well We'll follow you guys. We'll follow you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, not blindly though. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Alex. We have come to the end of this youth and politics. We do this every single Monday, and this is how you can get involved in matters governance and give your opinion on Y254. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Hashtag is youth and politics or YNP. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Money of the social media platform. Val is coming up next with Man's Talk. Hot topic. You don't want to miss it.